first things first, <laughs> you dragon. all need to you all need but, to yeah. make a perception roll. You see that you are in a graveyard in Gryhold in the market district. I want to say market district. Yeah, the market ward. And um, you see that this is actually a memorial for a dragon attack that happened about 80 years ago. A red dragon. Make another. Um, and at that moment, let's see here. Where's my extras tab? Lorian immediately has this image flash in her head that Gonadar once flashed in her head before. Uh, oh. She knows that, um, and some of you who were there for this knows that Dirno Cromwell slayed the red dragon, the adult red dragon, that killed him, his wife, and his daughter after being brought back to life by Gonadar. And as she remembers that moment, searing through her head, a young dragon lands here in Gryhold. Before oh. you, adventurers. I'm gonna reach into my fucking bag and pull out the Pterodon Bone Warhorn. I'm assuming it's hostile. It's a fucking red dragon that's burning down the city, yeah. Okay, Cost. Yeah. Is I'm, gonna gonna I'm gonna switch I'm a the heck over to that dragon, still on con safes. I'm gonna toot that fucking horn. I don't know what it <laughs> We're getting ready for this. Alright, Sandy, right, you know what to do. Well, it's over. I'll do it. Both <laughs> hands on the ground. Hold my father's relic. You hold the deck of many things. I do not know how you got it, but I'm here to take it back. Did I, did I he, toot that fucking he, horn, Steve? He smells, he smells the air around you and looks at Alric, who out of character, you know, has the deck of many things on his person. Fuck. I am Zostra, son of Bastras. Red dragon who came here 80 years ago. The deck of many things was taken from him and I want it now. What? What are you gonna play poker? <laughs> That'd be a very intense <laughs> poker, Jesus Christ. <laughs> poker with a deck of many things, good god. I, uh. I think this is going to become a problem real quick. I think it was already a problem. So, uh, you actually see more with that perception roll. You <laughs> do see... Uh, Lorian and... I don't think the others were there for that with high rolls, but... Over here, Lorian, you see... These fellows again. Did the horn the adventurers, not The adventurers... Uh, the horn does nothing. But the dragon looks upon you all. You uh -huh. see those adventurers there again, hungry for a fight. You also see over here. Let me get that for you. Yo, they said I'm Avengers back. Endgame was the most. Uh, Welcome back. Thank you. You see, all time. Oh, you see Callista. You see Callista Mayhem with uh, the rest of the children in her orphanage. If you remember, she was from an orphanage in Gryhold. And standing next to her is a, um, a dragonborn woman. Uh, let me get that image for you as well. Why the, the fuck are the children from the orphanage in a graveyard when there's a dragon flying around? They're, they're, running, they're running towards uh, the orphanage here. Um, I have an image for you. Where the hell is that image? Oh, I forgot. It's archived. Um, here we go. This is the, um... I'm not seeing it. The dragonborn woman oh, who's yeah. watching after the children she works at the orphanage. Yeah, and what else Thank do you, you. see Thank around you? you. Um, who got the highest <laughs> perception roll? That's Sandro. Sandro. I, I did. Sandro and Alric and Falminar. Man, you guys are getting high perception rolls. See Second one you see... You, this is, you've never been to this part of the, uh, the city before. Um, Mm -hmm. Can't see everything that's on the map, obviously, because you're line of sight. You want but me you to do, do see... perception roll as well? Or... Yes, please. Actually, you were you were rescued by your friends. You're now face to face with a red, a young red dragon. 
And we see that there are some uh, there are some shops set up here. Uh, this is part park, part graveyard. You see ballistas here set up, and you see the the bustling of of dwarven soldiers trying scrambling to load these ballista. Um, you see smoke rising, billowing up over the walls to your right, and you see some buildings on fire in the distance. You see civilians running and screaming indoors. Some of them are running to other districts of the city. Um, and this orphanage here is where the children are running. You do see close to Mayhem running in there as well. Um, let's see, Razalyn with a uh, perception of 13. You hear the dragon muttering something to himself in Draconic. And what he oh. says is... Oh. Uh, can't she understand that language? I will take the death of many things if I have to pry from the burnt bodies. We and you, uh, right you have, we're about to, and we, uh, you have, uh, Draconic lineage, uh, wrestling, so yeah. you understand that language very easily. Um, make an intelligence roll, sorry, make an arcana roll on the deck of many things. Who? Are you rolling, Reslin? You Me? Arcana, oh. arcana roll. Oh, lordy. You have no fucking clue the deck of many things is. <laughs> <laughs> Even there though you might die of, for it. <laughs> there's a deck of many things. Okay, so there's not going to be any preemptive attacks if we choose to go into combat, or if the dragon chooses to go into combat, we'll make rolls. Um, Ulrich, would you like to say anything, seeing as you have the deck of many things in your pocket? You don't have to reveal that you do, no pressure, but I'm just I'm giving so you the opportunity. i start drawing cards. Just, no, and just start pulling cards at random. How does the... Oh, uh, but no. Go, Go ahead. Reading ability is that a cantrip? What light? Which ability? No, you uh, you were able to uh, talk to other people. Is that an ability that you need to use a spell slot for, or is it like oh a my cantrip? Oh my god! Like, yeah. No, yeah, I just do that at will. Okay, all right. Thank you. Yeah. You would probably um, not do many right now because it's a deck of many things. You know. Yeah, that's connected to me. Let's see, what was Lorian's role? I mean, She's the magical this is one. Telepathically. Her initial uh, role was pretty high. You see a, an amulet wrapped around his finger. You can all see the amulet wrapped around his fingers. His finger's as big as a, a neck. Um, he doesn't stand nearly as tall as an adult red dragon. Keep that in mind. Um, and I do have an image of him. All of you make an arcana roll on the amulet wrapped around his finger. Alrighty. Have to roll another arcana? arcana. Yes, yes, all of you make another one. I have a 14, and um, Nim gets a 18. I thought the monk who grew up in the middle of nowhere got the highest roll for a second. That would have been, <laughs> been wild. It's like, ah, yes, I know that. Um, I, okay. I read. So, Falminar and Ulrich, you recognize the amulet to be an amulet of locate object. You think that in combination with the dragon's uh, sense for treasure and scent of smell, uh, the amulet of locate object is what is also helping him locate the exact location of the deck of many things. And this I share with the rest of the group. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't like this. Well, I mean, he's here because of us. I mean, no, no, he's not. He's slowly here inching my way this way. He's here because of that crazy wizard in the tower that we killed. Well, and that's because of the Order of Whispers, and that's because of Ganad. It all loops back to Ganador. Fucking Ganador. Fucking Ganador! I yell. <laughs> of course. I look at the dragon. This is all Ganador's fault. What are you talking about? Oh, Gondor operating through the Order of Whispers. They're the ones that brought the deck here. It was Dyrnor who stole the deck from my father, Vastras. Whom? I am Vastras, son of Vastras, and I've come to take what is mine. That was my uncle, right? Or not uncle, my my, my cousin's um, husband. So Dyrnor, Dyrnor Cromvale is the one who is helping Gondor and the one who slayed yeah. this red dragon's father. Took yeah, the deck of many you... things you've now learned, and right. it somehow ended up in the hands of the Order of Whispers. Yeah, how do you think he managed to kill your father? 
It was with the aid of of the god. Gonadin. Gonadar. Whatever. Gonadar. His name is Gonadin. If you want vengeance for your father, get vengeance against against the god who's trying to destroy all other gods and take this world over. I have no concern of gods and religion. He's why you're concern, dead. I have only concern of what's mine and what you have. You don't care that he. This had is your you. last chance. We'll lose it all the same. I would be upset if my dad got killed. Fine, I would too. I never knew my dad, so I don't really have a horse in this race. What a shitty son. Fuck you, dad. Dragons aren't like super like platonic. There is. Well, I mean, he's a red dragon. I mean, that's true. Yeah. We're like whispering between ourselves about what a garbage dragon he is. Now, you see him inhaling, and as he's inhaling, we make initiative rolls. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna open the turn order. Okay. <laughs> when we see him inhale, I can't. Like... I can't select my tokens, Steve. Oh, oh fuck. Okay, let me fix that. Let me fix everyone's tokens. Wow, okay. we all got this garbage. <laughs> How the fuck did we all should, roll so close together? You should be able to control, uh, you should be able to control that, Lorian. Um, no, I can't. Let me roll for my I boy Arcus over here. Let me, let me Are you just able to drag, drag myself. your token? Yeah, get rid of that one. Um, okay. Yo! Right. So I'm going to take a look at this guy's uh, stats, and uh, does he get any bonuses on... So that would be a dexterity bonus for initiative, right? Oh, man. Yep. But Young Dragon has a 10 dex, believe it or not, um, but he has fucking okay. disgusting saving throws and, and other skills and whatnot. So let me make his bear roll. I'll do the roll publicly for his initiative one sec. I just realized how awkward this is because I have red dragon scale now. <laughs> it's probably Look at that. Made Look at that, guys. Death. You might actually not. You might not actually get perma killed in one hit. He rolled What's a two. Is, he rolled a two. Oh man. He rolled a two. They go. They go be. They go after Lorian if you go by Dex tiebreakers as well. Oh, so even yes. <laughs> Oh good. Uh, uh, my, the dragon's going left. And then insane. if we're going by, how do you want to do the initiative? Because three of us rolled eights. Do you want to do it by, by dex, like the the modifier? I'm just gonna do it however this goddamn thing lines you up. Honestly, I think that's okay. fine. <laughs> it's totally made out of his dad. That armor is red dragon steel armor. Did you not from that? That's made out of. You're wearing his dad. I'm just gonna be straight honest. Like you guys are so lucky that he rolled low because honestly, that fire breath is not to be fucked with. Not to be fucked with. Right. Yeah. Fucked. Um, they didn't add me. Um. Damn. How, how do I? How do I sort this? How do I add you? Um. I'll just roll again, then change it to an eight. How uh? How big is this guy exactly? Uh, probably... He's actually not that big. I actually made him look a little bit bigger on the token because it's kind of boring to make him... Because he's only large think, size, think, believe it or not. Yeah. He's about the same... Like, by vanilla standards, he's supposed to be the same size as the half-ogre. Um, but don't let size... Don't let size fool you because a young dragon is... Even if they're tiny compared to, like, other dragons, they are so deadly. My god. Theoretically, can... Can one like, my this dragon? <laughs> I know it's about the stories about you one-shotting a dragon in another campaign, but I'm telling oh, you right now, I... that's that's like that's that was just for flavor, honestly. Whatever your DM was doing over there. In one of my different one of the campaigns I was supposed to be in, that got that just died because of stupid rolls. This one barbarian ended up suplexing a young red shadow dragon to death. That's because silly. He kept, it. Yeah, he kept getting nat twenties over and over, so he would just suplex it and get up, attack miss and then he'd suplex it again <laughs> he did for like 20 minutes and it just died that was supposed to be my intro to the campaign and we were so all this like, the red dragon it. is inhaling right now the first person to move is uh, we need to get nim on here uh, no nim is on here first person yep. to move is um archimus everyone scattered archimus did notice um, um callista mayhem running inside the orphanage who he is very close with where's the orphanage at this long building here. directly beneath you guys. 
he so would... we should probably avoid that building. So the yeah, so if he can tell the dragon's up. charging up a breath attack, he would probably want to go the opposite direction. Yeah. Got her. So who would like to control um, Nim for this for now, and who would like to control Archimus? Let's have a dedicated player for that, just for their movements um, and decisions. I'll do Archimus again if you'd like. Okay. Alric, if you want to continue I... with Nim, you've been doing a fine job. Alright. Let's do this. So he is going to... Let's see, how, how far can he go here? Hide over behind this tree. That was also my plan. We all go behind <laughs> the same tree and get bodied. <laughs> and mm. I picture Falinar just walks menacingly at the dragon, gets fire breath, just eats it. Just so these we're gonna say that these we're gonna say these squares represent half the half the distance because I, I space everything out so much. So these so each square can... is about ten about ten feet. We can do three squares. I don't know what he would want to. He doesn't really have very good, like, attack spells. Because he, he has a fire attack spell. Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. Fire attack spell. Bardic Inspiration. That'll work. Uh, Falminar. Mm hmm. Bardic Inspiration. Poggers. D6 uh, or a check. Roll. Or check. What, Including saves. It, it does what? Okay. Actually, uh, I'm gonna. Get... I'm actually gonna control Nim a little bit. Um, I'm gonna have Nim run toward this uh, this northern. What's it called? This northern uh, guard tower, because she sees Ballista up there. Oh, uh, what? That? She's gonna go about that far. Oh, perfect. I was gonna have her run that way, anyways. Perfect. Perfect. Next, we have Falminar. Gotta check on my pizza. One second. Go for is it. it like a oh, yeah. Larger yeah, video. So, Brad, you can add a D8 and... to any like D20 roll, basically. Okay. Is it possible that I could let Sandro go before me, or? Mm. Gotta stick with the initiative. Strike. Okay. Okay. I think since I think the three eights and me, Rohal, and Sandro, we all got eight, so we could probably do it. However, we could get that to work. Um. But you got enough. Since he's breathing in, I guess I'm just gonna take shelter, because even though I do have dragon armor, I don't really know. You don't want to take that fucking risk. I don't want to take, take it. You will have resistance, but you just don't want to get hit in the first place. Yeah. Uh, how tall is this thing, Steve? Uh, it's about... Um, this whole The whole steps themselves, not including that little spire, are probably like... 10 feet high with the spire thing maybe like 15 feet okay so I, theoretically I I if could... you jump down those steps you could get maybe refuge from the flame uh, i'll do that then and then uh yeah i guess that'll end my turn i guess oh how do we Ooh. want three eight turns oh. to kill? You also oh noticed that that hatch was a one-way hatch because the thief skills don't want just some random children coming down their fucking <laughs> pipeline. So <laughs> that is so that had to masterwork. That is masterwork sealed locked from the outside. Just putting that out there. You know, some kid went down there one time. They're like, "What's going on?" They're like, "We got a footlock on." It's like a bunch of rat people. Like, <laughs> also, Brendan, don't forget you have shield masters. You got that. Oh yeah, you get to add your shield armor to your deck save. No, he it's only on things that singly attack him. The one that I set attack applies oh, to everything. Things that attack him? Like, so like, it was a single focus thing that required a deck save. Oh. You could add, yeah, yeah, so you get, basically it's eva evasion. That's true. Also, uh, Falmanar, make an insight roll just while you're wrapping up your turn. Sandra starting his. All right, okay. so. And Lorian, you this... also make an insight roll. Go, go on, Sandra. Do this dragon have the hex on it? You said, Brad, or what? yeah, yeah. I Wait, him does, as soon as we got out and saw is there it. is no, there any no, kind no. of resistance that the the dragon can have, or is it hex is just a thing that happened? Okay, so nobody it's... the person doesn't have to make a resistance. Okay. No, they're just now hex. So remind me, he gets disadvantages on what? All Concept. all concepts. Concept. Okay. All right, so oh, I hold on. Let me refresh this real quick. Connection. I'm gonna go running up on this man. This is bold. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm amazed. 
<laughs> Trust me, I'm a registered. No, I'm a registered doctor. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, all right, long sword. God, please work. Oh no. <laughs> Not uh, let's yourself. go unarmed attack. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Flurry of blows. You are heading it basically. There we go. Here it is. You. So. The first two punches, like, you almost hurt your hand hitting its scales. You right, have... The first one was with a sword. Just oh, sorry. It, it, yeah, the sword just bounces straight off of its scales. You manage to get one punch under the gut of its neck as it's inhaling and has its guard slightly down. Okay, he's um, being a DC 14 constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Ooh. All right, one second. How do I add disadvantage to the I, actual roll here? Uh, if, just, I wanna, just roll if I want to type it. Take the lowest yeah. d20. Uh, Very well. There's, there's not any way to do it if you... Yeah, so just come on. Do it twice. Come on. RNG come on. Jesus. RNG Jesus. Yeah. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, yeah. so he is stunned until the end of my next turn. Holy and for my last attack on Flurry of Blows. Hold on, I got to add that first damage. That was eight damage initially. Uh, he took eight damage, then got stunned, then took another eight damage. So can I, can I thematically describe stunning this dragon? You, point, you throat no. punch him. <laughs> no. He's, no. He's a, he's appalled by the throat punch, and that that stuns him because he wasn't expect he was not expecting some dude with no armor to just run up and punch him at all. Just just panther punch him right in the fucking stomach. Just, poof, poof. just yeah. I mean. Is that? Are you ending your turn there? Uh, that is all I can do, and I'm gonna be up in his, up in his grill. I'm ready to go. So he has to make no save against the hex. That's really interesting. Yeah, there's no save against it. Okay, that who moves so it next good. now? It is um, roll halls. Move, the thing think, is, yeah. hex is very situational, and it kind of it's a third level oh, spell yeah. slot to make them have disadvantage on say on a certain save. Like it's not, it's weird. Yeah. How far away is each? Look like how far it's each square. Ten. I'm doubling up the normal square size, which is okay. normally five. So from where you're at, like the dragon's fifty okay. feet away or forty feet away. Yeah, About forty-five, forty. Yeah. Yeah. You can still shoot him from there. About fifty. One, two, three, four. Yeah. About I mean, I don't know what you do. If you got like spell slots left, you can do that too. About forty-five. But that's gonna be do jack shit. Um, trust, frostbite. I'm, I'm in range yet. Um, you got advantage on your attack rolls as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, it's Constitution saving throw, yeah. Um, yeah, plus Me? fifteen. So I'll, I'll toss that, and that's gonna be. I actually have that one on. So you guys wanted me to try to throw as many as I could from this one. Hold on. Uh, and I click where? All right. Okay. This one I go back to right. There we go. It's another con save. Yeah, he needs to make a con save before anything happens. No. Like he's not. He has to make two because he's got a disadvantage. Yeah. Come on. RNG. Ah! Score. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the All DC right. for that? Uh, 15. Okay. Whoa! So, let's see here. I have that here somewhere. But... Oh, here we go. It says weapon attack roll, though. It's not including, like... Oh, is it a weapon? Because he's not Wait. using weapons. Wait, Claw's got his natural weapons, I guess. Cause, no, because I think the, I think the whole idea about frostbite is specifically is that the 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 metal is getting cold. Oh, I'm talking about. Because uh, uh, I'm not under fro under frostbite, so I I don't think the the disadvantage applies oh, yeah, to the dragon. The However, he takes one d six. Uh, shouldn't it say if if he is using weapons like natural weapons or not uh, on uh, his. He's taking three damage from frostbite. Melee, melee weapon he takes two d six, not three d, not one d six, because it's a, it's a fifth level cantrip. Or, I'll yeah. roll again. Yeah. Uh, it no, it says bite and claw, melee weapon attack, melee weapon attack. So he gets he gets negative effects from that. 
on on young with dragon, on right? the next weapon attack roll it makes. I guess I guess when they're saying weapon attack, they mean other than like a magic attack. Yeah, I think they just mean uh, something. So that's that, fine. It, it doesn't matter right now because he'll be stunned on his turn anyway. Yeah, so I don't think he'll, he'll go away. <laughs> Very well. Next, it is uh, Ulrich's move. The one who I is holding the deck of many things. Dealt the damage, or did you deal it for me? I dealt it for you. Uh, I'm we'll uh, I'm okay. keeping track off off the uh, the roll twenty. A two, a three. That's all my movement. And then Elder Flat. Well, actually, which is more? One, a two, a three. Are running my ass away from the dragon. <laughs> That, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. That's how it be. I accidentally closed my tabs with all my character sheets. That all moment right. you realize the dragon is honed in on you, Ulrich. Yeah, see, I saw that, and like, in person I was physically like, going back like, like this. Grab a card. I want to, but I also don't want to. Gosh, I my headset disconnected. Okay. Uh, is that a bonus action? That's a full action. That kind of stuff. Is it? No. Uh. It's a. Oh, that's concentration of mine. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Something. Boop 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 boop. Does that give them? Uh, something. Something. Yeah. No. Uh. Elder Splash 1 2. Buckle my shoe. And you got advantage. Hell yeah. Woo! Woo! First one, 9 damage. This music is really, like. <laughs> it sounds like a jungle. 9 room. damage. Second one. Woo! 7 damage. Alright. So, I'm I stopping. Think that's all I can do. Next it is Lorian's move. Well, oh, okay. You better so do I have, something big. <laughs> uh, well, I have an owl familiar, and they can swoop in and out again uh, in one turn for themselves. Uh, can't they? Can't technically attack. They can no, cast but... touch spells. They can't cast touch spells. That's true. Is it only touch spell? They can cast touch spells for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, damn. Well, my plan won't work then. I was gonna thunder wave it. Oh, oh that would have been funny. <laughs> From my owl, yeah. I picture you just like going above it and just like slamming its head into the ground repeatedly. It instantly oh. fails any strength or deck saves it has to make right now. It does automatically fail. Because mm. it's done, yeah. But I mean, I'm also right up in its face. That's true. I mean, it's a tall boy. You could just like be taller. I mean,. This is where Elemental Adept would have come in handy, where you just- Oh, you're, you're immune to fire damage or resistant to fire damage? No, you're not. I don't know. Right, yeah, like, I'm looking at- I'm looking at my stuff again, though. For some reason, I thought I could just cast... Because we've used Mage Hand with familiars before. So, I guess we're not supposed to do that. Um... Uh, Mage Hand for okay. casting spells? No, not really. Because I, I was reading up on, like, there's all these, like, spells you can get that allow you to use Mage Hand to do those things. I'm like, oh, snap, we were using it way too liberally. Okay. Okay. Well, I see. I could die heroically doing a small amount of damage to it, I guess. What, we got what's, what spells do you have, or, like, can you do any damage? I have, um, Disguise Self. Thunder Wave, Featherfall, Misty Step, Fireball, and Cassius Form. So, and and you know my cantrips, I can do Minor Illusion. She can comprehend languages. Yeah, so I didn't learn, I didn't memorize comprehend languages today. Oh, oh um, no. But that's no. your signature move. You can start a ritual and make 101 rounds to, you know, get it going. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck. That's like the d yeah. version of well, 101 Dalmatians, 101 rounds. Yo, yeah, so... Oh god. I'm sorry, I, I had a plan, I just, um, you know... It, it's not gonna work, so I apologize for the delay. Uh, I've got pipe weed. I got lots of drugs. You just shove, like, all the drugs in his mouth? Oh my god, yes, okay! Is it, he's taking a breath, his mouth is open! I mean, he is the drug. He has the mouth flying into his mouth. <laughs> I got four Drake Woot servings. 
That's I'm gonna point. put that Drake with root servings in my owl's claws. I'm gonna have my owl fly Into at the dragon's mouth. at the yes. I mean, you can just resummon one, right? Yes. <laughs> in the dragon's mouth. Sentient spirits living inside that owl. Like it's it's like a. It's yeah, not. But, a... <laughs> but, it, but it can it can swoop in and then leave again. Yeah. So wait, okay, wait. What other drugs do I have? Okay. <laughs> uh, Drake wood servings. I've got a lotus drug, and I got I got um some pipe weed. All of it. All of yeah, it. all of it is going in my fucking owl's talons while he's breathing in. Steve's just, and, in, just like, what in the world is going and, on? Uh, and, <laughs> and he's gonna, and, and, uh, and, uh, he's, he's gonna, <laughs> You gotta show it, like, deep in there. F fly, fly at the dragon's mouth, shove that shit in while it's breathing in, as, 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 as hard and fast as he can, <laughs> and then try to return while I duck down, while I duck down behind here, because I don't know what else to do when I panic! So that's what I'm doing, Steve! Okay, I'm so the owl the needs to make a strength save against the dragon's <laughs> inhalation. Yes, okay. That's, I mean, I'm Wait, sorry, I'm reason? sorry, Owl. He's trying to shove it in there, but he's trying to get away afterwards. I'm sorry, Owl, it's for the greater good. Please forgive me. I mean, you guys just moving one bit. Yeah. I'm sure it'll cost 10 gold, but... Yeah, um... Gosh, I owl guess... Let me, let me look up Owl really quick, sorry. <laughs> It's just, just a regular owl, um... Owl. Its strength is three. <laughs> so it's gotta make... So 1d20 minus four? Uh, yes. Got this. Don't Isn't worry. it more than four? Yeah, no, it's about four. <laughs> d20 minus four. You got... Um, um, not terrible. Seven. How, um... Oh, yeah. is it that? is it is sucked into the dragon's mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry. And into it is, does it, it does is, it get lodged in his throat or anything? No, it's not that no, big. no. Okay. It is slain just by the dragon's teeth. I mean, the drugs do like some of them fall out of the dragon's mouth. And some of them are like in the dragon's mouth, but he's not ingesting them. He's not ingesting them with his <laughs> yeah. Al just like dive bomb straight into his mouth. Just like uh, a kamikaze attack on his gut. Damn it! Next, Rude. it is the okay. dragon's turn. I'll, I'll no, take not. that shit out of my inventory then, I guess. It was worth it. it. Drake. Quote unquote dragon's turn. So are you are you like moving on your turn, or are you just standing there, like front what, center? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I I dove down. I dove down and took cover behind the stairs. I see. You kind of need to go up close to us, don't you? Oh, that's so, right. The dragon is stunned. Man, I was about yeah, to yeah. kill some people. Okay, uh, next it is Arkham's turn. Wait, wait, if the dragon is stunned, is it still breathing in then? No. Um, it can still, like, it can still barely yes. speak, so I could, it can yes. still breathe. Yes. But it can take, like, a deep, hard breath that murks my Have you my ever health? gotten, like, oh, punched in the stomach so hard you get stunned and while breathing in, you know, like it's yeah. But then the, he the dragon, out. the dragon he wasn't punched in. that hard, guys. He was just okay. like just um, appalled at, at the audacity that Sandro punched. display. That's pretty much like no, his he stun. He was punched that hard. He was he was appalled uh, uh, at your audacity. Uh, uh, Sandro, Sandro, punch yep. him in the dick. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna go great. That might uh, hurt your we'll hands. <laughs> Archimist is move. Archimist is gonna move up to here. Uh, Hang on. Is he within 60 feet of the dragon? He is within zero feet of all the flammable things in the park, but yeah, he's he's within 60 feet. <laughs> okay. I, I have a plan. I have a plan. Just trust me on this. And he is going to cast, uh, I guess, Shatter behind the dragon. I, since that is the only like a damage option he's got. So like over here. Okay. Has to make a DC 14 Constitution saving throw. Here we go. And as disadvantage. 
Ah! I mean, that right there is pretty much it. So he takes 9 thunder damage. Alright. Okay, uh... That, that, that'll, that'll be it. Hey, Rohal. Yeah, uh, it is Nim Lalloway's move. Or destroy water? Uh, to be one? fair, Nim Lalloway's like favorite water. enemy is a dragon. Like maybe he sh maybe he should try to do something about that. It's up what to you, um, Alric. You control Nim Lalloway for this round. Oh yeah. Uh, what or destroy one? one? Create or is one spell? Create or destroy oh, okay. one? Yeah, no, I don't. I have to shape water. Two, three. That's all of her movement. And I have then... Oh, well, that one. Let me get Nim's sheet up. Get my thing crashed. Pop that out. <laughs> yep, that's basically what's gonna happen. Cause I don't think there's anything else. All right. Uh, da -da -da, I don't get advantage to hit it. Actually, I do get advantage to hit it because it's stun. Uh -huh. All right. So it's gonna oath bow two times, sharpshooter for both of them. Let me go over here. That's wild. So, oh, that's loud. so this is gonna be meaty. Ah, too bad you don't double the sharpshooter damage. That'd be wild. Right. That's what that meant. 13, 23 damage for the first one. Nice. And then the second shot uh, does a 20. A 19. Two. Or, yeah. So it does a plus two. Yeah, so and does a 19 hit? A 19 does hit, barely. Cool. And that's another 14 damage. And Wait, 14? Yeah, plus 10 from a sharpshooter. Yeah, sharp sharpshooter is nice. You take a minus 5 to oh, hit. Oh, okay, additional. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was thinking, yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think she could do anything with her bonus action, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Can you dash with a bonus? No, that's a... Monk Next, thing. it oh, is okay. a Falminar Smith. Okay. Um, don't forget you have inspiration. You do have inspiration. Inspiration does what again? I just got ready. You roll a D. You can add a D8 to any uh, D20 roll, basically. Uh, it's like attack roll, saving throw. You also got action surge and second one left. Real quick, just so you know. Uh, you know, hmm. <laughs> I'm only close range, so this is kind of scurry shit. Just start throwing stuff at him. Run, and run up on it. Run it. I, I guess I'll run up on him and I'll just try to hack his to, to the menacing JoJo walk. If you, if you, uh, how far can you, where were you at? Hang on. I was, I was right here by the. One. So, one, two. Three and you could action surge and still attack him. I think, right? Would that work, Steve? You could. Uh, tell me what action you surge is again. Action surge take action. another action, so you can like dash attack. So he'd have 60 feet of movement and an, and his attack action left, basically. I mean, yeah, he'll have to use the dash for sure for that for that distance. So, Brandon, if you action surge, you can get up in its face and and, and hit it. Okay, I'll I'll action surge and then I'll just. How many how many attacks left do you have? He has two attacks. Okay. I've Two. Yeah. And they have an advantage. So one, two. So one. you can get like there. I, I just go right there, honestly. Or where, yeah. Or, and then just gonna, gonna, you're just gonna smack him, I guess. Be yep. smack. Smack. Yo. Oh, you also don't forget you have advantage on the uh, next one. Wait, so, wait, so then yeah, I can. Yeah. So make sure you have advantage on the next attack. Uh, oh wait, advantage shit, my bad. Wait, I don't know how to do advantage on a uh in the top you can just, just hit it again for now. Oh, just yeah. for now okay. just do another attack and then you can fix it for next time. My bad. So there's a 19, 19 barely hit. hits. Yeah, it's five. Ooh. Okay. Next we have Sandro. Alright. Alright. I'm going to You're the clip the clap, Hit this man. Oh, I still have advantage. Oh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna hit him with my long sword. And a what? I'm going to use stunning strike on him again. Yes, please. He has to make a disadvantage constitution saving throw, and Arkmus is gonna use cutting words to subtract a D8 from it. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a second. Um does does the dragon make a saving throw against the cutting words? 
Uh, it does not. Uh, cutting words just subtracts a D8 from any uh, like attack roll, ability check, saving throw, all that. Got it. It says it's a reaction. That's why I asked you wasn't 60 feet. Oh. Oh. That's make disadvantage con save minus one. All right, doing that now. God. Ooh, that does that. It it brought it from a pass to a fail. Yeah, so it, it, it's stunned again. <laughs> the plus nine. Oh my god. Um. Cassidy, oh my god. <laughs> okay, I I still got. I got. I'm kind of shaking here. This is fucking wild. The cutting word is <laughs> coming in clutch. Long sword again. <sighs> then I punch it. <laughs> you punch him real good. There's nine total. <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah, so... It, and then yeah. 11. So slash slash punch. So he's like getting ready to like take another breath in. I just do whatever and I stun him again. As Archimus just yells, eat shit in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear it in his voice. <laughs> eat With shit. One, one, and it worked. <laughs> Next it is roll hall. I don't have much else to do than to throw frostbite. I mean, the good thing is that if I, if you fail your, um, your stun, at least we'll have advantage on surviving his... I'm sorry, we skipped, we skipped Resolent entirely because she wasn't here for the initiative roll. Oh, um, yeah. mm -hmm. We're going to, we're going to do uh, Resolent's turn. I'm sorry about that. Mm. Resolent, fuck um, it up. Fuck it I don't up. know what to do. I don't have anything. Do you got any attack, attack spells? Heal him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use burn. I only got burning hands. That's my attack. Uh. Run up. Run away. I wouldn't do anything. Tell I got daggers. Uh, I gotta go and actually burn. hit him. Fuck <laughs> a dagger at him. Just. <laughs> <laughs> I got four. I could throw a dagger. You just pop up. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I recommend staying at a distance from this. I ball. wouldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. just, I mean, just, it'd do 1d4 thing. I don't have any spells that would do anything to him. <clears throat> I could turn into a gas and leave you guys. The you know, health action is... <laughs> you know what my favorite thing is about this, is if you scroll down, there's some dude just like totally obliviously like fucking raking the grass. <laughs> while all this is going down. <laughs> oh, yeah. Down there. He's just vibing. Herp -herp. <laughs> He's chilling. I'm so happy. Explosion sounds like a feels like it's a fucking. Got another pile over there. I gotta he's, go he's... anyway, Steve. No problem. Uh -oh. Have fun, and I'll let you know Bye. if you survive. <laughs> okay, thank you. Rizlin is choice paralysis right now, and she just <laughs> collapses. Rizlin should go to one of the ballistas. Does she have any buffs or anything though? I don't know. And does anybody have access to her character sheet? Uh, I think I do. Mm. Yeah, I do. I can, I can give access to anybody's. Character sheet, pop that out. Uh, sorry, who, who wants control over for now? Mm, I'll do it. Okay. Hand her over Let's to Save M. here. Gimme. And save. Got it. I can't see it. Can't see it. Oh, I have to add it to your journal. I think. Yeah. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Okay. Let's see what she got. Uh. Jesus Christ, she has like. Uh. What's this? What does Blade Ward do? Uh, it makes her have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage. Uh, that's not very useful. Uh... Oh, Sounds like that entire... She's got a hairbrush. Um... <laughs> Just throws the hairbrush at him. She has a cross... Crossbow uh, bolts. Does she have a crossbow? I don't think sorcerers can use crossbows. <laughs> Maybe they can. I don't... Bolts with light crossbow. Just perfume. I'm pretty sure uh, wizards can, for example. What'd you say? I think wizards can. I don't know about sorcerers. She, uh, sorcerers can use light crossbows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she's got a light crossbow. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that to her thingamajig. Light crossbow. 
last one. Come on, the whole time. Okay. Okay. How do I add that to the... Uh, what I would do, just, uh, what is her dex score? Her dex score is, uh, 14, actually. So just, just roll 1d20 plus 5, and then I'll tell if it hits or not. Okay. And she's advantage, so, yep, so just do two of them. Oh! Oh, doesn't even matter. So what, what is the light cross? Is that a d8? I think it's... Is uh, let me see. Let's see light yeah. heavy. I it's got it here. It's one d8. So two d8 plus two. Okay. So. Thirteen damage. That's a meaty shot. Yeah. <laughs> Reslin snipes this fucker. <laughs> got him in his gums. I'm Thirteen. To... Got it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out why it's not. <laughs> Anyways, who's yeah. next? I don't. Rawl. Whatever. Can't think of the name. Her? Mr. Bow and Arrow Boy. Oh, that's his name. Oh, yeah. Roll. Is that who it is? That's. Uh... Yeah. Because I went and then... Just, so yeah. Okay. That's uh, me. yes, it is Rawl's move. And I shall toss... a Momo. For fuck's sake, I'm starting to leave Legends. Uh, that's not the right thing. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he's gonna make a dick saving throw. He fails automatically because he's stunned. Alright, yeah. And do I'm sorry, that was an accident. I need to get that done myself. There we go. Oh, six and five. It's pretty good. What oh, was that? A dagger throw? No, uh, no, that was that was an accident. What what spell did you cast? Uh, the frost one that I threw earlier. Hold on, the cantrip. Uh, frostbite. Oh, that's that's a Constitution saving throw. It yep. wouldn't do anything. This thing wouldn't matter. So, he still needs to do the roll, right? Yeah, he has to make a constitution save. Still a disadvantage. Right. I mean, God. it wouldn't change anything, because he can't take... Attack. He can't attack either way. Well, he can... Well, it's a damage. It's, it's determines if he does or does not take the damage. Oh, it's just damage. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Hey! Oh. So he takes 11 damage. Yep. All right. Sweet. It is. Let's see, where are we now? Uh, I'll Rick's move. Alright. Uh, Juan. Uh, <laughs> He's just running two. with the deck. It's hilarious. That's pretty much it. How far is this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, each, eight. Yep, each I'm square is about, each, square, each square is about ten. Yep. Alright. And, uh... Pew pew! That's not my character. And he's still got advantage. That's a significant amount of damage that the um, dragon has taken so far. I'm Let's impressed. Let's that. Uh, 27 to hit. Oh shit, I forgot I had this. And then, does a 19 hit? I can't remember. It does, it does. Okay, cool. So, 25 God. damage total. Nice. That's a lot of damage you guys are dishing out. And... Stun locked. Can't do anything with my bonus action, so that's it. Lorian, take it down! Got Take it down. I'm gonna pop up here, and I forgot that I had this. Um. Oh, hey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. Well, you got okay. advantage, so roll again if you get a crit. So roll what? Uh, just roll another uh, attack roll, see if you get a crit, because you got advantage on the attacks. Ah, okay. No. Ah, no. Oh. Okay, so seven damage, I guess? Yeah. And then I'm gonna duck back down. At least I helped a little bit. 
but you easily had the coolest you easily had the coolest turn with L. Yeah, I had the coolest down. idea. Now, <laughs> now, and dragon is like there's so many fucking Yeah, like until pass out. So Since it's over. stunned, Steve, and there's a bunch of those drugs in its mouth, and you've got like mucus membranes and your gums and stuff, and it's like all over its tongue and gums. Is that uh, Drake? Is that root having any kind of an effect, or, or you know, any of the drugs that I threw at it? No, it would have to ingest it. Even still, the, the portion size for the size of this beast yeah. would be uh, like uh, nothing. Put lots of drugs so in. So is it Arkmus's turn now? We're saying it this is. Beast it is Arkmus's turn. <laughs> All right, he's the only damage he's got left now is vicious mockery. So hell yeah, <laughs> insult him. Hey, you'd look better if you were fucking purple. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make a DC 14 wisdom save. Oh, that should be another D4. So you take four damage unless he fails his wisdom, unless he passes his wisdom save. Uh, let me see here. 1d20 plus 4. Ah, right. So what's the total? Uh, it, he has to make a DC 14 save, so he does not. Got it. <laughs> he just like, looks over. Purple, purple so next we have Nim <laughs> Lalwin. Okay, okay uh, Nim is gonna... Where is my... Yeah, there it is. It's gonna... Also, what's happening with these guys up here? Yeah, they got that bullet loaded up yet, or what? Uh, no, they, it. yeah, they're just watching. They're yeah, kind they're of, like, concerned. Alright, one, two... I want <laughs> long broad, like, 600, it's fine. Three... Yeah. Still got advantage. Oh yeah, and those other adventurers, were the, were they just fucked off, huh? They're just... Ivan, they're just in This is our fight. They see it's ours, they see we got it handled, they're letting, they're letting us do it. Yeah. Alright. Both with bow shot one and two. Sharpshooter that shit. Hell yeah. Uh, 15 to hit? Misses. I'll still do it. 22 to hit. 22 hits. Sick. 18 damage. And then that's it. Oofed. He's taking a Brandon lot of damage. Trying to get him. All right. And you got advantage, still, Brandon. This is so rude. We're just bullying him. God <laughs> damn! God. Seventeen, and then eleven, right? So twenty-eight. <laughs> Brendan, you're my hero. There goes my hero. <laughs> Did you? Ah, I think. The dragon so, is uh... pouring blood everywhere. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Here we go, boys. Playing the paid trade song again. <laughs> 16, 16, 25. You have three opportunities. Unless you, do you have any more key points? Oh. No, I don't have any, any more key oh, points. Yeah. He's my no last one. Stunning. So he takes no more uh, 17 points of blood so, damage. So as you run up to the dragon to the final blows, he already f crumbles over and falls over from Falminar's cuts. <laughs> so he's like yeah. falling over, I'm just like punching him in the fucking leg while he's still dead. Just... <laughs> <laughs> this is stupid, seriously. He just <laughs> <totally> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, <laughs> look over at those adventurers. <laughs> Hello. Oh wait, hold on. No, Nim is up here. Yeah, that, that's that's stun locking. That's stun locking. It was kind of crazy. Yeah. No, These guys are running all away. All our casters would have died. Other, I'm pretty no, sure that's what would have happened. The adventurers are running away now. <laughs> I picture Nim's just up there talking mad shit. <laughs> y'all ain't nothing. Oh my god. All right, we all again. The thing that's yeah. under attack, and you didn't do anything but gawk. He, he's sad and he didn't help. He still did better than you would have done. I, I just like the dead dragon. I'm gonna like swipe my hands together like I'm cleaning them, and then just like take my cap off, run my hand through my hair, and put my cap back on. <laughs> so Alric hey, senses oh. Alric senses Ganador's approval yet again, as you know that he enjoys watching Predator and Prey. He is extremely <laughs> pleased. Boy. 
And Lorian senses it as well, but in a different way, as she doesn't have him as a patron. We're just like trying to fight him, we just make him happier and happier. <laughs> yeah, you guys are going around destroying altars, making sure Out churches character. are destroyed, killing <laughs> giant beasts. I wear your father, now I wear you. Hell yeah. We need to make. We need to use his skills to improve your armor. It'd be great. Yes, and bones. There's lots of bones, too. Yeah, I'm gonna get yeah, I'm gonna... Nice. We feast. As, as Lorian bones. stands at the edge of the puddle of blood, she realizes that she has only extended Diranor's vengeance against the dragon. As the dragon has killed Diranor's daughter, you have now killed the dragon's son. Damn it! Well... <laughs> You know what? But this dragon's an asshole, so that, that's okay. He, he can ha he can have that one. Walking up, yeah. What was that about getting that deck of many things? Man, it didn't pan too well out for them, did it? At this point, just about everyone in the party knows that you have the deck of many things. Um, I don't know what each character thinks about that, but it is common knowledge now among party members. He has no idea what that does. <laughs> hey, that's um. Me. So, anybody eat dragon? Uh, Is it, do you think it's... Anybody got any bottles? We should save this blood for something. Oh, yes. I've got empty wineskins. I've got two... I can fill it up with two wineskins. Let's do this shit. Okay. I'm putting... Sheesh. I'm filling both of my empty wineskins with the dragon blood. I want to go up and just try to take off one of the scales and one of the teeth. Yeah, sure. I want to take off the freaking armband. Oh, hey, look, there's soldiers coming. Oh, hello! Yeah. Wait, what, oh, are these, what are these? Oh, like? Wait, are those the bronze? The bronze? Oh, no. Oh, you oh, finally no. showed. Are those the, like, palace guard ones? So as, as they approach, you see that these are the elite guards, not merely the regular town guard. She and see, cool. they were they were coming to, to combat the dragon, and they have come to see that you have slain it yourselves. Wait, but are these the elite guards that like we've been hearing about that are that have re replaced yes. the actual guards? Yeah. Okay. The, the the guards that wear the purple the purple capes are the ones that are the elites. I, as as I see them approaching, I whisper, "These are the, the, the these are actual ones. ones that have replaced the guard." Yeah. I'm just gonna stand there, breathing heavily, soaked in dragon blood, and just stare at them. <laughs> <laughs> 